Is there ever a good time to quit? In our society where you hear all this uh, stuff about grinding and pushing through the pain and winners never quit and quitters never win, you know, you hear all this really Gucci, high testosterone, adrenaline filled memes and quotes about, you know, just pushing and, and, and moving forward and never looking back and Sometimes that's just a bunch of BS. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Because in reality, sometimes it is necessary to do a hard core reevaluation of what whatever you're doing is costing you. In war, um, everybody would love to win every battle. But that's not the reality. Sometimes uh, we got to do a strategic retreat um, <clears throat> to count the cost, to count the cost. And if it's costing you more than you're willing to lose, then you might want to take a look at quitting. You know, um, I was reading this book that uh, my physical therapist gave me. Um, <laughs> No, Phil um, at Tier Physical Therapy. Yeah, that's my shameless plug <laughs> in Millsboro. <laughs> and um, it was called uh, When to Quit It and When to Stick It. And it was, it, it was so different um, and just real. It was just real because, <clears throat> sorry, my, my, it's the whole air thing and my allergies. In this, real stressful dysfunctional society that we live in um not every plan that i come up with is going to be a great fit um some things i'm gonna have to take a look at and double back and change direction you know and and if you guys remember um <clears throat> probably about i think it was about five months ago i was gonna be a volunteer fireman and and i was totally into it totally excited and I failed the first test uh, because there's something wrong with my ankle and I was gonna go take it again. And I was determined, you know, um, determined to become a volunteer fireman, wanted to help people, wanted to be all about that, told everybody on social media what I was doing. And then all of a sudden I didn't, you didn't hear me say anything else about it. <laughs> well, what had happened was um, I got involved in uh, not only Apex, I've been uh, involved in Apex's coaching program, but I also got involved in the Speaker 2.0 coaching program for uh, public speaking, for to be a public uh, motivational educational speaker, which was really such a good fit for what I already do. I mean, because you guys know I've been um, doing public speaking most of my career, um, along with writing. And so I just started diving into the courses and the classes and really working the program. And when I looked back at um, my initial goal to be a fireman, I wouldn't have had time to do everything I'm doing now, you know, and I quit that goal that uh, I don't know if you want to call it a temporary dream. I, I might come back to it later on. I don't know. Um, but I, I quit that. You know, so I could do something better, you know, and a lot of us need to be honest with ourselves. Is what we're doing going to pay off in the long run, you know, or is it going to cost us more than we're willing to bear in the long run? If, if, if the, the circumstances are choking the life out of us, smothering our soul and it and it's only creating more and more trauma to your to your core then do i need to tell you you need to quit that thing do do i have to say it do you need a professional to say that because look I, i'm a pretty blunt simple counselor and um <laughs> If you ask me point blank, I'm going to say, yo, uh, you know, that, that idea don't sound too kosher. But most most people in therapy, most professionals in therapy are a lot more patient than I am. 
and they will let you figure it out yourself. And uh, sometimes I question um, the, uh, I don't know. I question how how good we are at evaluating our, our own uh, path, our own journey solo, you know, which is why I'm such a big advocate for having friends and family, coaches and mentors to, uh, you know, travel along with us during this journey. So so we have fresh eyes on a goal, a dream or a direction we're taking. Um, Because <clears throat> look, look, you guys know. I always think I'm right, <laughs> but, but I'm not, I'm not. And I think I said in the last video, I can be extremely stubborn, extremely stubborn. Um, and it's frightening sometimes my capacity to stay in pain or dysfunction is high. I have a high pain threshold for mess and that's not a good thing so i i've been you know w with being with the people that i'm with you know from my study group at oak ridge to my friends family and mentors um i have these people in place intentionally to help me be more clear with what's going on with with my goals with with my my plan is my plan cost effective for my soul? And you got to ask yourself that. If this is something that will pay off in the long run, um, then by all means go for it. But if this is something that is only going to create more damage in the long run, then maybe it's time for you to try something new. Think about it. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.